Hi, this is Brian Gladstone. You're listening to Unsigned on All Canadian 96.9 Radio Humber. I'm just an asphalt cowboy riding country songs, but I ain't got no cash. I'm just a long hair from Toronto, but don't know where he belongs. Trying awful hard to write good country songs. I'm just a twanging and a picking for my fingers. His music stands for peace, harmony, and the love of Mother Nature, and he is living proof that one man can make a difference by reaching out to his audience about important issues that affect us all. Growing up in the 60s made a great impression on Brian Gladstone. Social revolutions were shaping the world, and he saw firsthand how much of an impact the youth movement had on bettering our world. As soft-spoken and mild-mannered as he may appear, his music carries with it a powerful message. I grew up in an era that um, a lot of protest songs being written. I grew up in the Vietnam era, and uh, I, I actually witnessed, I saw with my own eyes, how culture, youth culture, and music can change politics, can change the course of history. Every great story starts somewhere. For Brian, it begins right here in Toronto. Growing up in the big city, he was exposed not only to the popular culture of the day, but also that of generations before him. The singer-songwriter is humble about his beginnings, but also admits that fate had a hand to play in the process of him becoming what he was destined to be. I just have a love for the art form. I'm, I'm a writer uh, by nature. I'm, I tend to be very creative. And uh, in, in my teens, as most people, I was just very, very into music. And uh, I don't think I'd made any decisions. I think it decided for me. I just basically followed where it took me. I don't really have a choice in this. You know, if I don't do music, it does me, basically. Many different influences come together to form Brian's unique sound. None greater, perhaps, than one of his greatest inspirations, American folk and country singer Doc Watson. But he also takes cues from some of the best in traditional North American roots music, folk styles, southern bluegrass, country, and even shades of rock and roll and psychedelia. Brian's songs make his older audiences nostalgic and his younger audiences stand up and listen. I grew up in the uh, folk revolution of the 60s and 70s, so obviously it's going to, you know, Bob Dylan, uh, Phil Oaks, Joan Baez, uh, Gordon Lightfoot, uh, really formed, uh, you know, really had a, um, an influence on me. Plus, you know, I've, I've seen the Beatles, I've seen every major rock and roll band. I was an attendee at Woodstock, so uh, um, I, I've just basically been engrossed in music my entire life. The message of the music transcends time. It's about bettering ourselves and bettering our world. To that end, Brian shows us that activism is very much alive. He's the founder and organizer of the Toronto-based Winter Folk Festival, the Association of Artists for a Better World, and is involved in numerous other projects, including benefits for Hurricane Katrina and concerts for Earth Day Canada. What I try to do, or what our organization does, is we try and get artists in touch with causes and we get causes in touch with artists and I, I don't think it's power I think it's just power uh, surprising whatsoever it's just a, a natural evolution it's the uh, the words and the music have the power to change the world Brian Gladstone's positive sound and skillful finger picking are more than just a reflection of a generation we once were in today's world everything his music stands for is alive and well within us all it stands for peace and justice. It stands for loving your environment and your fellow man. And there can be little doubt that Brian's songs are meant for the heart just as much as they're meant for the ear. For 96.9 Radio Humber, I'm Paul Roski. Karen drops the tank top, sinks her back into the beach. She sends her eyes to blue skies. 
Va bah un deux 